are forward slash entitled parents. M tries to take my mystery box prize that I won fair and square. Posted by you forward slash catiatic. So some context. So the community center in my community held something called a jelly bean dance every third Friday of the school year. It was for ages 6 to 12, so grade 1 to 6. There would be an entry fee of $5 and then every item of food cost $1 each, includes hot dogs, chips, pop and chocolate, so bring $10 and you have dinner covered. With entry you also got a raffle ticket that had a number, every so often during the dance the DJ would call a few numbers out and whoever had that number got a prize of the winner's choice. Now the prizes weren't cheap, they were pretty great. There were barbies and hot wheels and nerf guns and all that jazz. I lived in an upper middle class area, so that's why the prizes were so nice. So this is where entitled parent comes in. She ran the community center, she planned the dances and the prizes. She was also the head of the parent council at my elementary school but those are stories for a different day. But to make this long story a bit shorter, the mom would always take extra tickets and give them to her daughter, so she won a prize every single dance. I found this out years later. Cast. N. E. K. Me. D. J. Stepdad. Now to the story. It was 2010, I was 11, in grade 6 and it was the dance before Halloween and kids were allowed to wear costumes. I went as a dragon. There were a few different Halloween themed prizes, I remember there was a Catwoman Barbie, a black cat Webkins and even a pumpkin costume. But the prize everyone wanted was the mystery box. It was a big box covered in black wrapping paper so no one knew what was inside it. No one except M because she was the one who bought everything. Apparently this box was worth over $150. The night was fun. Everyone danced to the music and all got a sugar rush from the candy and pop and generally had a great time. Throughout the night various names were called and the lucky winners got to choose their prizes. Then the final song came on, it was Fallen Leaves by Billy Talent. I always considered this my lucky song, even though the story behind the song isn't very happy because good things happened to me whenever I heard it. I would find things I thought I lost or I'd get a good mark on a test, generally good things. So I felt good about my chances. The song ends and the DJ announces it's time to give away the mystery box. He called the numbers out, the tickets were similar with the numbers until the last three digits, this is where things got funny. The DJ said the third last number and a roar of no was heard, second last number and you heard the same dramatic no and then the final no. I looked at my ticket to see that I had won the mystery box. I run to the front and show the DJ my ticket. He checks it over and it was indeed the ticket that won. Then I noticed EK standing beside me waving her ticket in the DJ's face and whining no I have the right ticket. He looks at it and tells her sorry but you don't. Better luck next time she storms off crying to M. The DJ hands me my mystery box and tells everyone to have a good night and get home safely. The lights go on and there's a crowd of kids around me wanting to know what's inside it. I didn't want to open it up until I got home because it was a big box. I told them that I'd tell them on Monday what was in it, I grabbed my coat and went outside to wait for my ride. I knew it was gonna be either my mom or stepdad. As I wait just inside the door the EK comes over to me and tries to open my box, we are both 11 and in the same class, she unfortunately was one of my many bullies. I pull the box away and tell her to leave me alone. She starts whining again give me the box, I was supposed to win it, mommy made sure of it me being polite said well maybe you'll win the one next month, it's before Christmas so it will be awesome. She whines some more about how she wants it. The DM walks up to me and yells you are not supposed to have this, EK was supposed to win IT now give IT to her. M was a huge lady, tall and fat and kinda scary. I stood my ground and said I won it, besides she wins every time, it's time to let someone else win for a change. Losing is a part of life yes I, an 11 year old said that. My great grandma would say it to me, in a nice way of course, one of her many life lessons. M looked at me in shock. She then started to grab for my box. I held on to it as best I could as I yelled at her to let go of it, all the while EK was pounding on my back trying to help her in. 
Suddenly, my stepdad walks through the doors to pick me up. Stepdad, what the hell is going on? Miam is trying to steal my box I won. M no, you are trying to steal it from my EK, you don't even know what's in it. I do. Me because it's a mystery box, I'm not supposed to know until I open it. And you bought the prize. I was looking at my stepdad. He's 6'6 and really scary looking. I was honestly scared because I thought he was going to make me give it to her. Being the child of the other man I rarely ever get what I want. My stepdad then surprised me by grabbing the box out of M's hands and told me go get in the car he then followed me out box in hand. I remember M yelling back at me that she will be talking to the principal about this, but she couldn't do shit since this was after school and not even on school property. When we got home my stepdad gave me my box and I finally got to open it. And what was inside blew my mind. Inside it was. The first four seasons of Supernatural. The first two volumes of the Walking Dead comics. Which was perfect because the first season was premiering on Halloween. The complete series of my favorite animated show reboot. Awesome Canadian show, which I highly recommend you all check out, except The Guardian Code. That's the reboot of Reboot and it's garbage. Harry Potter wand and glasses. A bat webkins. A pair of pumpkin socks. A crack ton of candy. And a Calgary Flames hat signed by the captain himself Jerome Ginler. I figured that M got her husband to get it signed because he works for the Flames. Jealous, dude got to work with Iggy. I was over the moon, I felt like this box was made for me I mean monster stories, reboot and hockey. That's my life in a nutshell, even today. I shared some of the candy with my stepdad to say thank you for helping me. Not sure if he ate it though, probably gave it to my sisters. I was a bit shocked at some of the things in the box because they weren't 100% kid friendly, I mean a 6 year old could have one that and the Walking Dead comics are graphic as heck. But I guess the M was so confident that her daughter would win she didn't care. I mean I was surprised that my mom let me read the comics at 11, I could read them as long as I didn't show my sisters or take it to school. Guess it was a big F you to the EK because my mom knew what she did to me at school. But thanks to the M and EK I became a Walking Dead and a Supernatural fan, which I still am to this day. I never went to a single jelly bean dance again, didn't feel the need to since I had hit jackpot. I was also scared of the M and EK. I wrote this because I was driving to work this morning and I heard fallen leaves on the radio, I remembered this story. And since it's my lucky song I'm considering going and buying a lottery ticket. Probably won't though. Anyways. Thanks for reading. Have an awesome rest of your day. And remember that you are enough. Thank you for listening my children. Please leave a like and subscribe and ring my bell sack to stay updated with my videos as they come out. Love you bye.